So on Easter Sunday, I wanted to make some deviled eggs, but I did not have mayonnaise, so I decided to make my own. And you can do it too with all of these ingredients that you find mostly in your pantry. This is from The Joy of Cooking. It's recipe for blender mayonnaise, but I'm using a food processor here. You start with one whole egg, and then I've got a whole cup of vegetable oil, a quarter cup of olive oil, salt and sugar, mustard powder, cayenne pepper, and two to three tablespoons of white vinegar. It's supposed to be lemon juice, but I didn't have any, so I used white vinegar instead. And all of these things combined will make mayonnaise, believe it or not. So you start with one whole egg in the food processor. You just pulse it until it's mixed up. And then after that, you add in the mustard powder, the sugar and the salt, and the cayenne pepper, all of the seasonings basically, as well as the quarter cup of olive oil to get it started. And you just want to puree this until it is very well combined. It will not be mayonnaise yet at this point. And at this point, you want to very slowly drizzle in one half cup of vegetable oil. It's important that you slowly drizzle it in so that it holds the emulsion and that it becomes mayonnaise. Otherwise, it'll break and it will not hold shape. Then you add the vinegar or the lemon juice. And at this point, your sauce is going to break up a bit and it's not going to look like mayonnaise and you're going to think you messed up. Don't worry. Slowly drizzle in the other half cup of vegetable oil. I actually didn't use the whole half cup, but it worked just fine. And look, behold, I have mayonnaise. It's stiff and flavorful and just really good condiment to have that you can make yourself. I'm scraping it out of the food processor into this dish. I'm going to use some of it to make the deviled eggs and the rest of it I'm going to use on burgers. Unlike store-bought mayonnaise, this does not keep very long in your fridge. It, you have to use it within a week. So be sure you do that. Don't make a giant batch of this in advance and think you can just leave it in your fridge for months like you can store-bought mayonnaise. You've got to use it up quickly. And I used some of mine really quickly to make some deviled eggs. Start by hard boiling many eggs and then you empty the yolks into a bowl. I never use a recipe for this, by the way. I just always wing it. Um, I mixed it with some diced pickle and I'm just mashing it with a fork. In hindsight, I should have used the food processor because it already had mayonnaise in it. <laughs> anyway, I'm adding my homemade mayonnaise and I also put some salt, pepper and a little mustard in there. And homemade mayonnaise, since it's more flavorful than store-bought mayonnaise, you don't have to do as much to your deviled egg filling to make it uh, taste really good. And you whip it until it's to your desired consistency. I'm not super picky. You can be fancy and pipe it in, or you can just spoon it in, dust it with some paprika, and behold, a wonderful Easter meal on a budget. Uh, I made this during a 12 days of low budget cooking, so look out for that video. It should be up in a week or two. And I'd like to thank my patrons for supporting this channel, especially Chrissy, Britt, Honey Badgers, Megan M, Matthew, Jenny D, Robert Z, Mercedes, Jocelyn, Manila, Gina F, Megan B, Data Fox, Feed Fafo, Stacy, Gina S, Ruth, Veda, Britta, Katie, Lonesome Screams, Mihir, and Slowek. 